Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today, we're going to be talking about the different frequencies of wireless networks that you come across in your travels. We're talking about 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and even recently, 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. And the reason for this video is based upon a little story or an interaction I had with one of my friends. I was over their house. I asked the traditional question, hey, what's your Wi-Fi network and what's your password so I can connect to it? And he said to me, here are my, he explained to me his Wi-Fi network names and he said, there are two networks. One says 2G, one says 5G. I don't really know what the difference is. It doesn't matter which one you connect to. And me, knowing better, I obviously had to have a conversation and explain the differences to my friend. But I figured this was a great opportunity to share this information with you as well because there's a lot of confusion surrounding the different Wi-Fi networks that are available in your home or elsewhere. So you'll come out of today's video with an understanding of what each of these different networks are and some different scenarios where and when you should be using these different networks. So let's dive into it. So when you see all those different G's next to a wireless network, whether it be 2.4G, 5G, or even 6G, what we're really talking about here is the frequency of the wireless network. And the way that routers break up their communication is they have different radio bands that they communicate over. That's all they're doing is they're indicating what frequency band that wireless network is on. You have a wireless frequency or a wireless band at 2.4 gigahertz. You'll have a wireless band at five gigahertz and then another one at six if you're using the latest router technology. This six gigahertz or this 6G wireless network, this is a new development. So your router, chances are it probably just has a 2.4G and a five gigahertz wireless band that it operates over, which is just fine. And you'll see the difference here in a second. So now I'm sure you're wondering, what's the difference between these different wireless frequencies? So the difference is, depending upon the frequency of a given radio signal, it'll be able to transfer data faster. So as you can see here, the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, it looks like it's a slower moving band, right? It's a slower moving signal whereas the five gigahertz and six gigahertz signals are moving a lot more times in a given amount of time. Frequency is basically the number of cycles a signal goes through in one second. And what I created for you is just an estimate so you get an idea, a visual of what these frequencies look like. So what does this mean to you? This means that these higher frequencies, because the signals cycle more times in a given period of time, they can transfer data faster. You'll experience faster Wi-Fi speeds at these higher frequencies, meaning a five gigahertz and six gigahertz frequency and network will transfer data faster than a 2.4 gigahertz network. However, it's not that simple because there are some drawbacks. And that's those higher frequencies, the wireless signal can't travel as far. So although with a five or six gigahertz wireless network, you'll get faster transfer speeds, you won't get a strong signal the farther away you move from your router. Whereas with a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network, you have much greater distance. Although the transfer speeds and the communication speeds might not be as fast as a five gigahertz or a six gigahertz network, you'll be able to get a wireless signal further away from your router. And with this information, we can now make some decisions 
about when we should be using these networks. Okay, so I put together a little table here that gives you some recommendations for when you should be using these different networks. The five gigahertz and six gigahertz wireless networks support faster bandwidth and faster speeds. So it would be ideal to use those when you're streaming or high bandwidth activity, downloading something from the internet, a large file perhaps, gaming online. These are all circumstances where you should be using the five gigahertz or six gigahertz wireless network. On top of that, if you are close to your router, you might want to use these networks just because you know you'll be getting a maximum connection. Whereas conversely, with a 2.4 gigahertz network, you can access that farther away. So if you're further away from your router, you might want to use the 2.4 gigahertz network. Some other use cases, if you have in a connected device in your home, for example, those don't usually require a lot of bandwidth. Those are used once in a while, right? And they send signals that the bottom line is they don't require a lot of bandwidth to support those devices. So if you have a smart device in your home, if you're just doing basic internet browsing or you're far away from your router, those are all scenarios where it might be useful to use a 2.4 gigahertz network. And all this to say, these situations that I laid out here are just ideal scenarios. Can you stream on a 2.4 gigahertz network? Absolutely. But the bottom line is, if you have a lot of internet users in your home, those higher frequency networks will better support those high bandwidth activities. Another thing I should mention, and this is something that I actually saw last night when I was helping somebody set up their router, is some newer routers have a feature that's called Smart Connect. And essentially what it does is it will connect you to the appropriate wireless network frequency based upon the distance from the router, the activity that you're using, so basically all you see when you connect to a wireless network is you just see that, that one wireless network as opposed to, and I'm sure you've all seen this, you see the 2G or the 5G after a wireless network name. So with this Smart Connect, you don't have to worry about it. But personally, I don't love that feature because I would love to be in control of what wireless network I'm connecting to especially now that I have the knowledge, and you do as well, you have the knowledge to know for what activities and what devices you should use these different frequencies. So I would much rather be in control and see the actual network I'm connected to as opposed to not really knowing because all it shows is the one wireless network that the router is broadcasting. Okay, so that pretty much covers it for wireless networks. Hopefully now you have an understanding of when you should use these different wireless networks at the different frequencies, being 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz, and then even six gigahertz if your router has that functionality. If you have any questions about this material, please drop a comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. Other than that, if you like this video or you like the channel and you'd like to see additional content on similar topics moving forward, please give it a subscribe and follow the channel. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.